Lost and desperate, Prince Harry is trying to come home for Christmas, but his family will not even take his calls. Harry has finally realized it wasn't a good idea to trash his family like he did, but it could be too late. Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to the King YouTube channel. I don't know about you all, but I am getting excited about Christmas. It's coming soon. We've got just a little over a month before we're going to get to stuff our faces with Christmas ham and all kinds of pies. But for Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, this season could turn out to be anything but merry. The first bit of gossip I want to share with you is a rumor that I came across on Reddit. Now, this information has not been confirmed, so please take it with a grain of salt. But still, I want to share it with you because boy is it juicy. According to a user on Reddit, Harry is not going to be in the UK for Christmas, but it's not because he doesn't want to be. According to this user, Dee Dee, Harry is feeling aggrieved and indignant that this year there has been no contact whatsoever since the coronation. He feels disgruntled that he's put multiple olive branches out to both Charles and William without any response from them, and unable to make direct contact with either. To many, it was a surprise that he also tried Catherine, who apparently also refused his calls or to have it in contact. He's moaning to all and sundry about his family ignoring him, but people are bored of hearing it, end quote. Wow, now I knew there had been very little contact, but personally, I didn't realize there has been no contact whatsoever since the coronation. I mean, that's huge. Can you imagine? That was back in May. So that's been what? June, July, August, September, October. That is six full months of absolutely no contact between Harry and the rest of his family. I mean, if he doesn't know by now that he has messed up big time, I think this should be the wake-up call that he needs. But again, we always come back to this same point. What did he think was going to happen? He said some horrible things about his family and Spare and the docu-series and all those interviews. I mean, he basically said that his father didn't love him enough. He said that his brother was a bully and that his sister-in-law was a snob who was mean to Megan. Why did he think he was never going to have to face repercussions for all those lies? But anyway, that is not even the juicy part. So this user on Reddit goes on to say there was a plan afoot for Harry and Meghan to visit with family and friends, the Harpers. But apparently it was made clear they'd only be welcome with the children. Harry and Meghan had planned to turn up for the Christmas walk to church, reminding the world, or rather the people they're begging for work, to see they're still senior royals and privy to all goings on behind closed doors. Also, they planned on demanding William share the Duchy of Cornwall's income with Harry as their equal brothers, and if agreed, Meghan and Harry would release no more words, speeches, or interviews attacking the royal family. In my opinion, blackmail. Pay us to be quiet. Reminder, this is alleged. Honestly, that sounds completely delusional, but it also sounds like something the two of them would do. Now, Harry knows good and well that inheritance always goes to the oldest. I mean, he was born an aristocrat. He was raised in this world. Meghan, however, she's clueless. So I do believe it was her encouraging him, or rather pushing him, to demand this. I think Harry knew that was ridiculous. But see, Meghan doesn't care if it's ridiculous. If it's something she wants, she's going to go for it anyway. All right, so now back to the tea. Charles and William found out about this. So Major Thompson, the king's equerry, was tasked with informing Harry that unless the kids, both of them, were with them, they wouldn't be welcome. Well, as you can imagine, again, this is just a rumor. Harry was indignant that he considers somebody so beneath him could have told him what he can and cannot do. And then after this interaction, the Harpers told Harry that they weren't going to be in the UK after all. Instead, they were heading to Barbados, so they couldn't accommodate them if they were to come over. I know it's just a rumor, but folks, I kind of believe it. I mean, it's insane that Meghan and Harry would ask William and Catherine or demand or whatever to share the Duchy of Cornwall, but I do believe they would do it, and I believe 100% they would be willing to blackmail them. Meghan loves blackmail. It is her favorite way of getting what she wants. Now, Harry really should have told her there's no way his family was going to give in to blackmail, but I guess at this point he is so desperate that he just went along with this plan. Considering that both Meghan and Harry's careers are in the toilet, I absolutely believe that they would want to do that Christmas walk to church. 
I mean, how else are they going to get any more deals coming their way? And they really are dumb enough to think that's going to work. That this single walk to church on Christmas is going to convince all the corporations to sign them up so that they can spill more secrets, uh, lies about the royal family. It is a really stupid plan, but honestly, that's part of why I believe this rumor is probably true. Just in case you haven't noticed, most of the plans they come up with are really, really stupid. Now, part of why I believe this gossip is because over at the Daily Beast, we've got Tom Sykes writing an article with the headline, King Charles in Great Pain Over Prince Harry, But No Rush to Reconcile. Now, Tom Sykes is a royal correspondent who knows his stuff. When he shares some information, we can be pretty certain it is correct. According to royal editor Rebecca English at the Daily Mail, uh, she quoted a source saying there is barely any level of communication between Charles and Harry. She said, There is undeniable anger at the anguish the king believes Harry caused the late queen in the last years of her life, not to mention the insults he has heaped upon his own wife Camilla, of whom Charles is understandably protective. She went on to write, Charles is a man who notoriously hates confrontation and will never close the door on his younger son. But sticking to his guns, he has rejected Harry's demands for an apology and put the whole issue to one side for the time being as he concentrates on the business of state. Charles has a reputation for being a softy, so personally, I am glad to hear that in this case, he is staying strong. I think Harry really crossed a line when he went after Camilla like that. I do believe that Charles would put up with a lot, especially a lot of hatred directed towards him personally. I'm sure Charles is like any father. He has his regrets. And I think when Harry talks about his parenting style, he can take it. But what he said about Camilla was certainly off limits. It was untrue and it was just ugly. I mean, Harry said that Camilla planted untrue negative stories about him in the press to make herself look good. I don't see how he can come back from saying something like that. A source spoke with the paper saying, It's very sad His Majesty doesn't get to see his son or his grandchildren, but there's no rush to patch things up. A source also talked about the relationship between Charles and William. The source said, While I am sure they don't agree on everything all the time, he and the Prince of Wales are firmly united now around a common shared interest, which is to keep the institution in a place where it can serve the nation. This was happening anyway as the late Queen got older, but there's no doubt what happened with Harry brought everything into sharp relief. Honestly, I don't even know which was worse. I mean, what Harry did to Camilla in his book or what he did to his own grandmother, the late queen, in the last few years and months of her life. Honestly, it's probably the late queen, because at least Camilla, she can deal with Harry. She can chew him out herself. The late queen can't do that. Honestly, even when she was still living, I don't think she could do that. She just wasn't that type of person. She was always going to forgive Harry no matter what, even though it hurt her so deeply. So I'm very glad that Charles is not just laying down and taking this. He is making Harry face the consequences of his actions for once in his life. It's interesting and scary at the same time watching all of this happen. I mean, Harry and Meghan's relationship is spiraling out of control. As they get more desperate, they're turning on each other and things are just getting crazier. Some of the stuff that has been coming out recently about Meghan especially is just insane. I really do think she has completely lost her mind and I think she's becoming dangerous. So of course, the royal family cannot risk having her over for Christmas. I mean, can you imagine how much damage she could do? And as for Harry, as things continue to unravel, he looks more pitiful to me than dangerous. But still, I mean, it's not right for the King and William and Catherine and the rest of the family to just forgive him and accept him back. He has got to prove that he's ready to change. And so far, that's not happening. He so far seems to be staying with Meghan. I mean, I think the first step would be getting away from her and then he would still have a lot of work to do. But is he going to be willing to put in that work? Well, only time will tell, but so far, it's not looking good. And you, what do you think about this news? Do you think there is any chance that Harry's going to be with his family for Christmas? And what about Megan? Please let me know your thoughts below in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, please do share it with anybody else who would like it too. And don't be afraid to click the subscribe button to get more updates in the future. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a lovely weekend and we'll be back to see you all tomorrow.